So first, let's start with a question. 14-year-old high school running back strikes his left knee on a helmet, has direct impact, has pain anteriorly, and essentially a normal exam. You see the answers. And now for the x-ray. I think we see here a patella that has a radiolucent line in the superior lateral portion, common location for a bipartite patella. Therefore, the correct answer, symptomatic treatment and return to play as tolerated. This is not a patella fracture. So let's talk about bipartite patellas. They're often confused with patella fractures. They occur rarely. So 2 to 8% of the population will have the, the finding. There's a preponderance for males, 9 to 1 ratio, and 50% are bilateral. Just as our example question, most are found in the superior lateral region of the patella. There is a cartilage area that did not ossify, and the vastus lateralis is placing traction on this piece of bone in the superior lateral corner, and, can, and it can be painful with fragment separation and subsequent non-union. Again, it can often be confused with a patella fracture, but the bipartite patellas are commonly located superior laterally, not a common area for a patella fracture. They have rounded borders and very similar findings on the contralateral knee radiograph in 50% of patients. The patella is the fulcrum of the quad, for the quadriceps. It has the thickest patella in the body with up to 10 millimeters of cartilage there. Bipartite patella can occur at the inferior pole or at the lateral margin, but far and away it is more commonly in the superior lateral pole of the patella. Only 2% become symptomatic. This is usually secondary to direct trauma, just as on our question, and the patient often complains of giving way. On physical examination, there is quadriceps inhibition and tenderness in the area of the bipartite patella. This can be accentuated with a squatted position, weight-bearing x-ray, as the that there is a dynamic pull on the symptomatic fragment. You can see separation of the fragment. And again, for about the third time, 50% of these will have bindings on the opposite knee. If the concern is whether or not there, the there has been an injury to this area and that there is separation or damage, the MRI may show edema around this area. Or you may also see increased uptake on a bone scan. Treatment, rest, immobilization, anti-inflammatory medications, and maybe some physical therapy. The treatment is not operative um, for unless management has failed for at least six months. The, the knee may be immobilized in about 30 degrees of flexion. In our example, the, the treatment was simply symptomatic management and let the player return to sports when his symptoms resolved. If there is separation and continued pain with failure of six months of treatment, then treatment, operative treatment may be indicated, which may include an open excision of the accessory fragment. You may do a lateral release or, more commonly, a release of the vastus lateralis where, at its area of insertion. Open reduction internal fixation may be used for large fragments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.